The Portugal national football team, Portuguese, Seleção Portuguesa de Futebol, pronounced SLSW Português de Futebol, represents Portugal in international men's association football competition since 1921. It is controlled by the Portuguese Football Federation, the governing body for football in Portugal. Portugal's first participation in a major tournament finals, at the 1966 FIFA World Cup, saw a team featuring famed striker Eusebio finish in third place. The next two times Portugal qualified for the World Cup finals were in 1986 and 2002, going out in the first round both times. Portugal also made it to the semi-finals of the UEFA Euro 1984 final tournament, losing 3–2 after extra time to the hosts and eventual winners France. The team reached the semi-finals of Euro 2000, the 2006 World Cup and Euro 2012, as well as the final of Euro 2004, the latter on home soil. At Euro 2016, Portugal won its first ever major trophy, defeating hosts France 1–0 after extra time, with the winning goal scored by Ader. With the win, Portugal qualified and made its first appearance in the FIFA Confederations Cup held in Russia, where they finished third. The team's home stadium is the Estadio Nacional, in Eras, although most of their home games are frequently played in other stadiums across the country. The current head coach is Fernando Santos and the captain is Cristiano Ronaldo, who also holds the team record for most caps and for most goals. History Early World Cup attempts Portugal was not invited to the 1930 World Cup, which only featured a final stage and no qualification round. The team took part in the 1934 FIFA World Cup qualification, but failed to eliminate their Spanish opponents, aggregating two defeats in the two-legged round, with a 9–0 loss in Madrid and 2–1 loss in Lisbon for an aggregate score of 11–1. In the 1938 FIFA World Cup qualification, the Selecao played one game against Switzerland in a neutral ground, held in Milan, losing 2–1 against the Swiss, ending qualification prospects. Because of the international conflict due to the World War II, there was no World Cup held until the 1950 competition and subsequently, the national team made very few games against other teams. A 10–0 home friendly defeat against England, two years after the war, was the proof of how the irregularity of the games had taken its effects on the squad, this result still stands as their biggest ever defeat. <laughs> 1950s and early 1960s On the restart of games, the team was to play a two-legged round against Spain, just like in the 1934 qualification. After a 5–1 defeat in Madrid, they managed to draw in the second game 2–2 and so the qualification ended with a 7–3 aggregate score. While they did not qualify on the pitch, they would later be invited to replace Turkey, which had withdrawn from participating, however, Portugal too refused to participate. For the qualification of the 1954 World Cup, the team would play Austria. The Austrians won the first game with a humiliating 9–1 result. The best the national team could do was hold the team to a goalless draw in Lisbon, and the round ended with a 9–1 defeat. In the 1958 qualification, Portugal won a qualification match for the first time, 3–0 at home with Italy. Nevertheless, they finished last in the group stage that also featured Northern Ireland, only the first place team, Northern Ireland, would qualify. The year 1960 was the year that UEFA created the European Football Championship. The first edition was a knockout tournament, the last four teams participating in final stage that only featured one leg while the older stages had two legs. For the first round, the Selecao das Quinas won 2–0 against East Germany and 3–2 in Porto for the second leg, finishing with a 5–2 two-legged win. The quarterfinal opponent was Yugoslavia. Despite winning the first game 2–1, they lost the second leg 5–1 in Belgrade, and lost 6–3 on aggregate. England and Luxembourg were the 1962 FIFA World Cup qualification adversaries of the national team. Portugal ended second in the group, behind England. Like in the previous World Cup qualification, only the first in the group would qualify. In the 1964 European Championship, 
Portugal played against Bulgaria in the first round. The Portuguese lost in Sofia and won in Lisbon. With the round tied 4–4, a replay was needed in a neutral ground. In Rome, Portugal lost 1–0. Topic: 1966 World Cup and 1970s. In the 1966 World Cup qualification, Portugal was drawn into the same group as Czechoslovakia, Romania, and Turkey. They topped the group with only one draw and one defeat during all the six games, and finally qualified for a FIFA World Cup. That year, the final stage would be held in England. Notable results were both 1–0 away wins against Czechoslovakia and Turkey and a 5–1 home win against the Turks. The team started out with three wins in the group stage where they were in Group C when they beat Hungary 3–1, Bulgaria 3–0, and two-time defending champions Brazil 3–1. Secondly, they beat surprise quarter-finalist North Korea 5–3, with Eusebio getting four markers to overturn a 3–0 deficit. Later, they reached the semi-finals where they were beaten by hosts England 2–1. In this game, Portugal would have played in Liverpool, but as England were the hosts, FIFA decided that the game should have been in London, which led the Portuguese team travel unexpectedly from Liverpool to London. Portugal then defeated the Soviet Union 2–1 in the third-place match for their best World Cup finish to date. Eusebio was the top scorer of the World Cup with nine goals. In the Euro 1972 qualifiers, Portugal had to win its group that comprised the teams of Belgium, Denmark and Scotland. Portugal finished second to Belgium. For the 1974 qualification stages, Portugal were unable to defeat Bulgaria in the decisive match, thus not qualifying. Portugal faced tough competition from the strong Poland team for the place in the 1978 World Cup in Argentina. They finished second place, behind Poland. Late 1970s until early 1990s The national team was put alongside Austria, Belgium, Norway and Scotland to fight for the first spot in the group, which would allow them to go to the final stage of UEFA Euro 1980. Portugal took third place. For the 1982 qualification, the Portuguese team had to face Israel, Northern Ireland, Scotland and Sweden for the top two group places. Portugal finished in fourth place. During the qualifying campaign for Euro 1984, Portugal was grouped with Finland, Poland and the Soviet Union. Portugal won the group with a win over the Soviet Union. Portugal ended in Group B, alongside Spain, West Germany and Romania. In the first two matches, they tied 0–0 and 1–1 against West Germany and Spain, respectively. A 1–0 win over Romania gave them second place in the group, to go through to the knockout stage, where they were matched against the hosts, France. The game was tied after 90 minutes and went into extra time, Portugal made the score 2–1, but France scored in the 114th and 119th minutes to eliminate Portugal 3–2 and go through to the final. For the 1986 tournament, the Selecao played against Czechoslovakia, Malta, Sweden and West Germany for the two spots that would guarantee them a ticket to Mexico. Needing a win in the last game against West Germany in Stuttgart, Portugal won the game to become the first team to beat West Germany at their home ground in an official match. The team exited early in the group stages after a win and two losses. They started with a 1–0 win to England, but later were beaten by Poland and Morocco 1–0 and 3–1 respectively. Their staying in Mexico was marked by the Saltillo Affair, where players refused to train in order to win more prizes from the Football Federation. For the UEFA Euro 1988 the Portuguese team attempted to top their qualifying group in a group with Italy, Malta, Sweden and Switzerland, however, they finished in third. The 1990 World Cup qualification was in a group along with Belgium, Czechoslovakia, Luxembourg and Switzerland. Portugal fought to get one of the first two spots of the group. Playing at home against Czechoslovakia, the game ended in a 0-0 allowing the East Europeans to get the second place. During the draws for the Euro 1992 qualifying, the Netherlands, Greece, Finland and Malta were the other teams. The Portuguese ended second behind the Dutch. For the 1994 World Cup qualification, Portugal played in the same group as Estonia, Italy, Malta, Scotland and Switzerland for the two highest places. 
They ended in third behind Italy and Switzerland. Topic: 1995 to 2006, the golden generation. At the UEFA Euro 1996, Portugal finished first in Group D, and in the quarter-finals, they lost 1–0 to the Czech Republic. This team was known as the Golden Generation, a group of youngsters who had won the FIFA U-20 World Cup in 1989 and 1991 and were now leading the national senior squad. They also reached the semi-finals of UEFA Euro 2000 but were eliminated at the group stages of the 2002 FIFA World Cup despite high reputations. Portugal failed to qualify for the 1998 FIFA World Cup. In Euro 2000 qualifying, Portugal finished second in their group, one point short of first-placed Romania. However, after finishing as the top runner-up nation in qualifying, Portugal nonetheless secured passage to the tournament final stage. In the final stage, they defeated England 3–2, Romania 1–0 and Germany 3–0 to finish first in Group A, then defeated Turkey in the quarter-finals. In the semi-final against France, Portugal were eliminated in extra time when Zinedine Zidane converted a penalty. Referee Gunter Benko awarded the spot kick for a handball after Abel Xavier blocked a shot. Xavier, Nuno Gomes and Paulo Bento were all given lengthy suspensions for subsequently shoving the referee. The final result was 2–1. During 2002 FIFA World Cup qualifying, Portugal won the group. Several problems and poor judgment decisions occurred during the preparation and tournament itself. Shopping sprees by players were widely reported in the Portuguese press. Questionable managing choices and some amateurism, including the same lack of agreement on prizes. Portugal underachieved and ended third in its group stage, subsequently eliminated. Manager Antonio Oliveira was fired after the World Cup. Portugal entered the tournament as favourites to win Group D however, they were upset 3–2 by the United States. They then rebounded with a 4–0 smashing of Poland. Needing a draw to advance, they lost the final group game to host South Korea. The next major competition, the UEFA Euro 2004, was held in Portugal. On the preparation, the Football Federation made a contract with Luis Felipe Scolari to manage the team until the tournament ended. The Portuguese team entered the tournament being a favourite to win it. The host nation lost the first game against Greece 1–2. They got their first win against Russia 2–0 and also beat Spain 1–0. They went on to play against England, in a 2–2 draw that went into penalties, with Portugal winning. Portugal beat the Netherlands 2–1 in the semi-final. They were beaten by Greece 1–0 in the final. After the tournament ended, a lot of players belonging to the Gerasao de Ouro Golden Generation abandoned their international footballing careers, with only Luis Figo remaining in the team, despite a temporary retirement. The silver lining for Portugal was the emergence of Cristiano Ronaldo. Ronaldo was selected in the UEFA Euro All-Stars team. While Portugal was playing in the competition, Scolari agreed in a new two-year deal with the federation. Portugal finished first in the qualifying round for the 2006 World Cup. Portugal finished first place in Group D of the World Cup, with victories over Angola Iran and Mexico The Netherlands lost to Portugal 1–0 in the round of 16 in Nuremberg in an acrimonious match marked by 16 yellow cards, with four players sent off. See the Battle of Nuremberg. Portugal drew 0–0 after extra time with England, but won 3–1 on penalties to reach their first World Cup semi-final since 1966. Portugal lost 1–0 against France in the semi-finals. Portugal faced Germany in the third-place playoff match in a 3–1 defeat. Ultimately, the team won the «most entertaining team» award for their play during the World Cup. Once again Scolari was asked to accept a new deal with the federation that would maintain with as the manager until the end of the next competition. Recent history and European Championship win For Euro 2008 Portugal finished second in qualification behind Poland, and won their first two group games against Turkey and the Czech Republic, although a loss to co-host Switzerland set up a quarter-final matchup with Germany which the team lost 2–3. After the tournament, Scolari left to take over at Chelsea. 
Portugal came second in the qualifying stages for the 2010 FIFA World Cup under Carlos Queiroz, then beat Bosnia and Herzegovina in a playoff, thereby reaching every tournament in the decade. A 19-match undefeated streak, in which the team conceded only three goals, ended with a loss to eventual champions Spain in the round of 16, 1–0. Queiroz was later criticised for setting up his team in an overly cautious way. After the World Cup, squad regulars Simão, Paulo Ferreira, Miguel and Thiago all retired from international football. Queiroz was banned from coaching the national team for one month after he tried to block a doping test to the team while preparing for the World Cup, as well as directing insulting words to the testers. In consequence, he received a further six-month suspension. Several media outbursts from Queiroz against the heads of the Portuguese Football Federation followed, which partly prompted his dismissal. Paulo Bento was appointed as his replacement at head coach. Bento's team qualified for Euro 2012. They were drawn with Germany, Denmark, and the Netherlands in a widely speculated group of death. They lost their first game 0 1 to Germany, then beat Denmark 3 2. The final group stage match was against the Netherlands. After Van der Vaart had given the Dutch a 1 0 lead, Ronaldo netted twice to ensure a 2 1 victory. Portugal finished second in the group and qualified for the knockout phase. Portugal defeated the Czech Republic 1–0 in the quarter-finals with a header from Ronaldo. The semi-final match was against Spain. The game ended 0–0 and Portugal lost 4–2 on penalties. In 2014 FIFA World Cup qualifying, Portugal won 4–2 on aggregate in a playoff against Sweden with all four goals being scored by Ronaldo, and was drawn into Group G with the United States, Germany and Ghana. Their first match against the Germans was their worst ever defeat in a World Cup, a 4–0 loss. They went on to draw 2–2 against the United States and won 2–1 against Ghana. However, the team were eliminated due to inferior goal difference to the Americans. Portugal began the Euro 2016 qualifiers with a 0–1 home defeat against Albania, which resulted in Bento being dismissed from his managerial post to be replaced by Fernando Santos in September 2014. Nevertheless, the team qualified and were placed in Group F alongside newcomers Iceland, Austria and Hungary, after drawing with all three they advanced into the knockout stage as the third best third place team. Portugal beat Croatia 1–0 in the round of 16 after a goal from Ricardo Quaresma in extra time, then defeated Poland 5–3 on penalties to reach the semi-finals. In the semi-finals they defeated Wales 2–0 in regulation time with goals from Ronaldo and Nani to reach the final at the Stade de France against hosts France. The early stages of the final saw Ronaldo limp off the pitch injured, substitute Ader scored the match's only goal in the 109th minute. Ronaldo won the silver boot, scoring three goals and creating three assists. Following their Euro 2016 victory, Portugal participated in the 2017 FIFA Confederations Cup, where they finished third. In the 2018 FIFA World Cup, Portugal were defeated by Uruguay in the last 16. Team image Topic: Kits and crest. Portugal's home kits has alternated between burgundy and a more standard red over the years. The 2014 World Cup jersey was notable for featuring both burgundy and red as primary colors. Since 1997, the team's kits have been manufactured by Nike. Prior to this, they were supplied by Adidas (1976 to 94) and Olympic (1994 to 96). Media coverage Portugal's Nations League, qualifying, and friendly matches are broadcast by RTP. Coaching staff Players Current squad 
The following players were called up to the Portugal squad for the 2018–19 UEFA Nations League fixtures against Italy and Poland on 17 and 20 November 2018 respectively. Caps and goals are correct as of 20 November 2018 after the game against Poland. Recent call-ups The following players have also been called up to the Portugal squad within the last 12 months. Recent and forthcoming fixtures Topic twenty nineteen Key GS Group Stage R sixteen Round of sixteen QF Quarter Finals SF Semi Finals Third Third Place Match FWC FIFA World Cup FWC Q FIFA World Cup Qualification UNL UEFA Nations League FCC FIFA Confederations Cup Topic Statistics Topic records Most goals scored in one World Cup 9 Eusebio 1966 Most goals scored in World Cup Finals 9 Eusebio 1966 Most matches played in World Cup 17 Cristiano Ronaldo 2006, 2010, 2014 and 2018 most goals scored in one European Championship 4 Nuno Gomes 2000 Most goals scored in European Championship Finals 9 Cristiano Ronaldo 2004 2008 2012 and 2016 Most matches played in European Championship Finals 21 Cristiano Ronaldo 2004 2008 2012 and 2016 Oldest player 38 years 8 months and 3 days Vitor Damas 1 to 3 against Morocco on the 11th of June 1986 Oldest Outfield player 38 years, 1 month and 4 days, Ricardo Carvalho 3-3 against Hungary on the 22nd of June 2016, oldest goalscorer 36 years, 10 months and 11 days, Ricardo Carvalho 2-1 against Serbia on the 29th of March 2015, youngest debutant 17 years, 6 months and 24 days, Paolo Futra 5-0 against Finland on the 21st of September 1983, youngest goalscorer 17 years, 9 months and 25 days. Days, Fernando Chalana 2-1 against Cyprus on the 5th of December 1976, longest national career 17 years, 3 months and 5 days. Vitor Damas from the 6th of April 1969 to the 11th of July 1986, longest national career for an outfield player 15 years, 9 months and 18 days. Nuno Gomes from the 24th of January 1996 to the 11th of October 2011, youngest player to reach 100 caps 27 years, 8 months and 11 days Cristiano Ronaldo 1 to 1 against Northern Ireland on the 16th of October 2012 most hat tricks 6 Cristiano Ronaldo includes 4 goals against Andorra on the 7th of October 2016 youngest player to score a hat trick 20 years 11 months and 4 days Andre Silva 6 to 0 against Faroe Islands on the 10th of October 2016 topic most capped players As of matches played the 20th of November 2018 players in bold are still active for the national team topic <laughs> top goal scorers as of matches played the 20th of November 2018 players in bold are still active for the national team Topic Competitive Record Champions Runners Up Third Place Fourth Place Topic FIFA World Cup Asterisk draws include knockout matches decided on penalty kicks. Darker color indicates win, normal color indicates lost. Topic UEFA European Championship Asterisk draws include knockout matches decided on penalty kicks. 
Darker color indicates win, normal color indicates lost. FIFA Confederations Cup Asterisk draws include knockout matches decided on penalty kicks. Darker color indicates win, normal color indicates lost. Summer Olympic Games Football at the Summer Olympics has been an under-23 tournament since 1992. Asterisk denotes draws include knockout matches decided on penalty kicks. Asterisk asterisk gold background color indicates that the tournament was won. Asterisk 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 red border color indicates tournament was held on home soil. Topic: <laughs> UEFA Nations League. Asterisk draws include knockout matches decided on penalty kicks. Asterisk asterisk group stage played home and away. Flag shown represents host nation for the finals stage. Red border color indicates the finals stage will be held on home soil. Topic: <laughs> Minor tournaments. Asterisk draws include knockout matches decided on penalty kicks. Topic: Honors and achievements. Equals equals footnotes. <laughs>